appreciate the support and it's good to know that people actually care. So uh, it's more than that. I mean, if you're a patron of mine, you get to have a lot of perks and uh, shout outs to my latest patrons uh, who are, let's see, let me get my latest patrons out here. Yeah, so my latest patrons. Let's see, here we go. Paul, Eric, Benjamin, Julius, Alan. I mean, these are all people that just came to my support right when I asked for it. And Joel, Jimmy. So yeah, thank you for all those wonderful people that have joined me on my Patreon page. They are very special people to me and I appreciate it. Mwah. I was gonna be blowing kisses at all the patrons that have been loyal over the years and also to the patrons that just joined yesterday. Uh, let's see. Okay. So let's get to the subject at hand, Raymond. Uh, the reason I brought up the whole stretch marks thing is because I uh, got a couple, I always read through my comments on YouTube. So if you uh, ever have a need to discuss any particular subject that I'm talking about, put it in the comments below because I will re read your comment and most of the time I will get to it and comment back. But these are the two comments I wanted to comment on in this video and then I thought we could talk about it. So uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is inappropriate things to say on YouTube. Uh, and this is Peter. Peter, I don't know, he's usually on. And if you're on, Peter, sorry for calling you out. But I just thought, you know what? We need to talk about what is appropriate and what is not appropriate to comment on if you're on the Internet. He wrote, OK, I'm, I'm going to say it, and I know I should not. So once again, if you know you should not, why did you do it? Um, did you have a B job? I'm assuming that meant boob job. I saw you in a bathing suit. And it seems too good to be true. The all body. I enjoy the kissing at the end. Okay. So if you haven't uh, seen this bathing suit little video I put out about the patrons, it's the one right before this. And basically, uh, I just thought, well, I'll just speak my mind wearing my bathing suit because I'm not afraid to show my imperfections and enjoy my my body, my sexuality. I'm not doing anything perverted or anything. I'm not doing uh, pornographic, I should say. And this guy has to ask me if I have a boob job. I mean, if you in, in starting it out by saying, I know, <laughs> I know, I should not say this, but did you have a boob job? You don't want to ask a woman that. So. For all you guys thinking of, oh, I'd love to ask her this, that, or whatever, and I'm not talking about me only, I'm talking about all the people, all I'm asking you to do is think first about the consequences because you're going to upset someone by acting, asking something inappropriate. Just, just don't do it. If you feel like it's inappropriate, err on the side of caution and keep it to yourself because you're, when you do that, you treat me as a sex object, and that's not the point. I should be able to wear a bathing suit without someone asking if I have a boob job. Um, anyway, so comments about that before I get onto the subject of why I brought up the whole stretch mark thing. I thought, let's see, your ad is sexy. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, let's see, Bryson. It also didn't hurt that you asked for help in a bikini. Exactly, Bryson. Thank you. Uh, all right. So. But we're talking about sensuality for the most part. You're right. That's right, CK. So we're talking about when I first became single, I'll tell you a little story. Stretch marks are beautiful. Thank you. And it's true. Stretch marks are basically, um, it's like, oh, I, I think of it as, a, as like a really, really beautiful tree that has rings about for the age of the tree. And you really can appreciate the age of the tree by the rings. So uh, everybody, as they get older, are going to have what I call war wounds. Stretch marks mean that I had pregnancies, that I um, have gone through a lot in my life. Just like uh, if you have scars all over your body from one thing or another, like maybe you fell or maybe you had a surgery or maybe you just uh, maybe you were in the military. It could be anything that, that you have. It could be you, that you had some something had to be removed on your face and now you have a big scar. Does that make you less beautiful? Of course not. So anyway, I thought it's really important to bring up that uh, it, as far as I know, no one's ever thrown me out of bed for scars or, or war wounds. 
Oh, and I was going to tell you uh, another, I'm, I'm going to be ADD and go back to that first subject about the, about uh, asking inappropriate questions because I, I remember being in a bar and talking to this guy for a while and he asked the same question. He's like, I know I'm not supposed to ask you this, but are your boobs real or fake? And I was like, really? Goodbye. So later on, and this is a guy who I had already gone on one date with. And he called me up and I, and I said, he said, like, why aren't you going on any more dates with me? I said, because uh, you are obviously, you know, needing some medication or something because you should not be asking inappropriate questions like that. Anyway, that was just a quick little story, little, little bedtime story. But back to what I was saying about stretch marks, I guess it's all it's stretch marks, scars, uh, men going bald, men gaining weight, women gaining weight, women losing weight, um, anything that's superficial to your body, you, you have to feel good about yourself. So I don't, I don't say there's anything wrong with, if you feel like you need to have plastic surgery, get plastic surgery, but don't let anybody else tell you that. Don't let anybody else make you feel like you should do something. Now, that being said, it's so interesting that I had a woman friend of mine who she became single and she was like, younger guys are never going to want me. I'm like, why? She goes, because I have stretch marks. And I was like, well, I don't think you'll ever be thrown out of bed for having a stretch mark. And by the way, darkness is your friend. You can always turn the lights down. Uh, Bill Gates says stretch marks are nasty. Bees, I don't know what that means, but Bill Gates, why do you think it's nasty? If, if, if it's part of a human body, why is that nasty? Why don't we just embrace it? Why don't we let things go about what's superficial on the outside? And why does it bother you? Older women are beautiful and delectable. Every inch of them needs to be loved. Stretch marks need to love too. Jesus beautifully said, uh, it doesn't bother me if a woman has stretch marks because as, as a big guy, I have them. There you go, Bryson. And I don't think anyone is going to care, Bryson, if you have stretch marks. Stop lying, B. Okay, Bill Gates. I'm a realist. Two thirds pirate. Okay. Okay. Bill Gates. What are you talking about, woman? How are you saving the world with this BS? Uh, is this the biggest agenda stretch marks? All right, Bill Gates. Uh, you are going to go in a little bit of timeout right now. Maybe later on you can come back. But we don't like mean, nasty, annoying people. Okay. So we got rid of Bill Gates. Uh, I doubt the real Bill Gates would take his time to write nasty things on my wall. Uh, and again, thank you for everyone here on Instagram that's waving. Uh, back to what everyone is saying. Your eyebrows turned me on. Dick, oh, well, thank you. Uh, let's see. Ban that dude forever. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Your eyebrow color is very revealing. <laughs> Okay, we're getting down to the cuckoo. My boy, my um, boyfriend has has a stretch marks. I got the crow's feet. There you go. Okay, so you know us women, we we uh, you know can get really caught up in the whole uh, cosmos, uh, youth is beauty thing. You know the Kardashians. You know the whole superficial crap. But everyone knows that a real person is more than just the, the, the superficial thing because everyone's going to age and everybody's going to uh, still want to be loved. Stretch marks and all. Uh, let's see. All right. I want to marry Karen's armpits. All right. We're getting really cuckoo here. Uh, next, next order of business. So um, I wanted to talk about men and their insecurities as well as women and our insecurities. Men, what are you insecure about on a physical level? And how can we help get that out of the, your um, your brain and make sure that you understand that all that superficial stuff doesn't mean jack diddly to a woman? Um, as far as I'm concerned, I have been attracted. My first attraction, actually, the guy that I lost my virginity to was a bigger guy. Actually, his his name was Fat Something or Other. You know what I mean? He was a bigger guy. He got all the women, though, because he doesn't give a shit. He had bedroom eyes. He knew what to say. He had the charm. He was funny. 
And he was, you know, he was a, a man back in when we were 18, 19 years old. So remember, it's not about how big you are. If you've got some extra rolls of fat, a lot of women think it's cute and sexy and whatever. I mean, listen, any relationship over time, you're going to fluctuate in your weight. You're going to fluctuate in a lot of things. Uh, David, you have scars in your left arm. There you go. Um, yeah, Bill Gates, a virgin. Uh, let's see. I want to marry Karen. I'm gonna, oh, my goodness. Uh, no, it's just, it's, I know I'm not supposed to ask this question. When you see your body, your skin turn into a different color, what I mean for a bikini by taking off. Uh, CK85, that was in a language. I don't know what that means, but are you saying that uh, when sometimes you're suntan and sometimes you're not? I don't know. Uh, you're nice to put up with us. Uh, I think I am lately. You know, Sometimes you guys make me laugh. If you don't have a six pack, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Listen, I'm not going to lie. It could be a turn on. It, it definitely could be a turn on to, to be with someone who's got a six pack. But I've been with guys that have six packs that I'm completely turned off by because their personality wasn't fun. It wasn't, it was, uh, it was like all about them. It was kind of narcissistic on top of it. Um, a six pack is not going to get you the women. I'm telling you. And having a full head of hair is not going to get you the women. And being tall or having a big dick, none of that stuff matters. What matters is you, the person that you are inside. Uh, my disability not being able to get a job. Um, Brendan, wait, I must have missed something there. So don't worry about that either. Okay. You just have to be yourself. Big dudes put in the work. Tell them, Karen. <laughs> All right. Hey, Zeus. So what do you mean by big dudes put in the work? Uh, sorry, reminds me of Brazil women when you realize the body turns into a different color. Uh, Mr. Pirate Brain, you're a teddy bear. There you go. I mean, um, a lot of women love that teddy bear look. Raymond, I love older women in pantyhose. Karen, do you think that that is abnormal? Well, if you're saying that you have a preference for women that wear pantyhose, I don't think that's at all abnormal. I think it's your, that's your thing. Uh, who cares about stretch marks, Karen Lee? I want to see more bikini pics on your Instagram. <laughs> Go to my Patreon. Patreon gets a lot more bikini pics than anywhere else. Patreon.com slash Karen Lee. Do you shave nipple? I don't have any nipple hairs, but it wouldn't bother me, I guess, if I did. Are you talking about men's nipple hairs? I wouldn't shave anything. Uh, I like the man with that whatever natural chest. I don't think you should do anything with that. Uh, oh, you ask about what women like. Yeah. Big hello for young women. Okay. I have a whole, okay, not a six pick. Okay. You're insecure about your feet. What's wrong with your feet, Bryson? Uh, gray and pudgy guys can be more attractive, Ari is saying. Yeah. You can be gray. You can be pudgy. You can be, you know, you can be too skinny. And if you've got the personality... That's what's going to sell. I'm telling you, I, I'm thinking of like Derek Pierce, porn star. Conventionally, he is, he's a good looking dude. But believe me, he's much more than just the looks. He's got more of like that personality, that, that take charge, of the way I was describing the guy that, that I lost my virginity to. Uh, that kind of manliness is way more sexy than whether or not you got a six pack. We try hard in every way. Let's see. Raw African shea butter is perfect for stretch marks. The reason I bring up stretch marks is not because I have any or or I do. A, I'm sure I have some, but I didn't scrutinize my body that that extent to that extent. But I did not bring up stretch marks to talk about what to do to get rid of them or prevent them. I'm saying that stretch marks is any kind of scar on your body or any kind of tattoo that you didn't like. It just shows that you've gone through different changes and passages in your life. And it's important to, to be able to let those things go and not let those things get to you. It doesn't matter. Years of sports and, and band have rubbed blisters on my feet. And blisters on your feet doesn't matter either. Uh, let's see. R -E -M -M -R -M, you should tweeze yours. <laughs> tweeze. Okay, so if it's if nipples, hairs... Father Ari, she's saying tweeze them. Uh, Gray is fine as long as you look like George Clooney. 
Uh, honestly, you know, again, it's it's just it's a personality thing. It is a hundred percent personality, and it's like all right, ninety percent personality. You can't be repulsed by the person. The person can't be like completely like making you sick, but you have to be able to understand how shallow it is to only focus on what this guy did at the beginning of what I announced before when he asked me, are your boobs real or fake? Those kind of things are turn offs and they're unimportant. And if you know, you shouldn't be asking him, don't ask him. And secondly, if you feel like, you know, you can't, you don't measure up because you've got some, what people would think of as um, not attractive qualities, let him go. I mean, it's all in your head. It's completely in your head. You like my door and trim color. Okay, thank you. Mm, all right. That's why you don't wear flip-flops or sandals. Bryson, no one's looking at your feet. People are looking at your face. They're looking at your eyes. When you walk up to a strange person on the street and you say hello, are you looking down at their feet? Why would you? anybody look at your feet? Except if you have foot fetish, then guys might be looking at my feet. Most of the time, guys look at my face. That's the first thing. If they're only looking at boobs, that shows a lot too. That shows that that's all they care about is fucking physical stuff. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Protection. I've heard about the shea butter. We'll try it. Okay. I'd lick a woman's stretch marks in the in the heart in a heartbeat. All right. So just like I said to you before about like men being nervous because women are focusing on their on, on qualities that men are insecure about. Women are insecure about stuff like that. And all you guys are saying, hey, I don't care about those stretch marks. I, I lick them anyway. So this, is, this video is as much for women as it is for men. All the stuff on the outside doesn't matter, okay? It's all about the confidence that you have in yourself. And that's really, it's gonna send you to far places. If you're in the sales job, it's going to make you better as, as a salesperson. If you are a friend, it's going to make you more of a, of a, of a, a close friend because you'll be a good listener and you'll be confident and you're not going to need to like boast and, and put other people down. It's going to help you in all aspects of your life. Just be confident about the person that you are with it. Uh, let's see. The sound of voice. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, Bryson. Uh, where are we? You never answered his question, LOL. Uh, oh, I will not answer questions that are inappropriate because that's reinforced. Why would, why would I answer that question? Why, let's say I answered, yes, I had a boob job. Well, what does that mean? Or what, what if I said, no, I didn't have a boob job. It just had a real supportive bra. What does that mean? None of that stuff is uh, of consequence. None of that stuff is important to anyone except for myself. And that's stuff that I have to keep to myself. I, I mean... If you walk up to a strange lady on the street and ask her if she had a boob job, she, you're lucky that she doesn't smack you across the face. I mean, it's just rude. It's just like it, someone said, it, you wouldn't like if someone walked up to you and said, hey, uh, how big is your dick? You wouldn't like that. You'd make you feel like, what the fuck? You know, you would think that's an inappropriate question. So I think it's an inappropriate question to ask anything personal about a woman's breasts or her vagina or anything. Just like I think it's an inappropriate question for women to ask about men's dicks. Personality without the looks doesn't work either. Let's get a bit honest here. I, Andre, I'm not saying that people don't need to take care of themselves. They absolutely do. You can't be expecting a, a woman to think you're attractive when you sit on the couch all day, don't work out, eat shitty, and uh, don't have good hygiene. I mean, obviously, if you don't make the best of what you have and don't try to present yourself in the right manner, no one's going to be interested in you. But that goes with, I always feel like the exterior is 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 a reflection of what's actually inside. Like someone who takes care of themselves on the outside is going to be a, a more quality person inside. And I'm just saying taking care of yourself. I love stretch marks, mark porn, but I haven't watched porn in four months, so tempting. <laughs> Oh my God, real wreck, you are hilarious. Uh, let's see. Bryson, why are you insecure about your voice? Uh, Dick is saying women want good looking guys first. D 
Dick, I'm here to tell you that the most attractive guys usually are not the ones that I would go after. Now, I don't know, maybe maybe the women that you go after are more superficial. Now you got to think about if that's working for you or not. Does it work to only go after the most gorgeous women in a bar? I I, I would say no. I would say those, gore, those women that spend a lot of time just primping and all that other shit are not the most popular women. They're not the women that you want to go after. They might be the most attractive on the, you know, on the checklist. Oh, she's, you know, got beautiful hair. She's got the bang ass body. She's got beautiful um, lips, whatever it is. But inside, if she's like rotten or if she doesn't have much of a personality or if she's a bitch, who wants to be with that person? Do women like me who doesn't drive? Brendan, yeah, I don't think that's really important. That's why we have Uber or Lyft. Confidence has sent me into trouble, Martin. What do you mean? Uh, let's see. Martin, everything's a fairy tale. Okay, why, why, why? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I feel like it's too high of a pitch and not enough bass. Bryson, don't be so paranoid. Completely paranoid. Don't worry about the sound of your voice. Don't worry about your feet. Don't worry about you know that you have too much hair on your nipples. These are all superficial bullcrap things to worry about. Worry about whether or not you've uh, tr you're trying to make the best that you you can be. Worry about if you're not trying to self improve mentally as well as physically. Bus passes are sexy. I guess that's in, in if you don't have a car. Listen, that's another thing. If you don't have a car, if you don't have a house. Nothing, that doesn't matter as long as you are confident, okay? I'm not going to say that a woman that's in her 40s is going to want to date someone who's living with his parents. It's not, that's probably unrealistic to think that. But does she need to have this guy live in a palace? No. I mean, she's most likely, if you're dating with a big age gap like that, it's going to be, she'll be coming over to your place, the woman's place. The, he'll be coming to the woman's place, not the other way around. Dick saying women are hard to understand. I I'm trying to I'm trying to sort that through for you, Dick. I'm trying to help you out here. You promised dance with me a long time ago. All that rock and roll, Delgado. I promised to dance with you. Oh, sorry about that. I, I, I a dance for you maybe. Uh, let rock and roll. All right, I'll, I'll have to do a rock and roll video. I mean, uh, Instagram. Timothy, you're right. It's nobody's business. Hello, 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 hello to all these people here. Great shirt design. Yeah, I just got this shirt. Live by the sun. Eh. Love by the moon. Oh, you're still living with your parents. CKA, get out of your parents' house. It's time. Karen Lee is very honest and her words are golden. Thank you, T. Lee Jones. Uh, let's see. The only thing predictable about women is that they're unpredictable. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. What about sushi? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, being a natural is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, give a thumbs up if you think natural is beautiful. Um, what would be a good icebreaker when I meet an older woman in a bar or a lounge? Alex Master, I have talked about this a lot, um, but any icebreaker would have to be something like about the room, not walking up and saying, you're really gorgeous. I think that's like too um, cliche. I would rather have you go up and just say something like, hey, how about them bowls on the TV? And just talk about that and, uh, and see whether or not you can strike up a conversation first. Don't even make it about you too. Just talk about it as a, as a conversation starter. Remember, you always want to, Think of it as a sales, and in sales, you want to talk about something to get a rapport with a person first before you go after the sale. How do I get past the, I'm 51 years old and I'm too old for you speech? This happens to me in the past four approaches. Uh, you, they're they're going to do that, but say, yes, and, yes, and I'm very mature for my age, or yes, and I have a great personality, yes, and, yeah, but I'm different from all those other youngins. I mean... You just keep talking, get her talking. And eventually, you know, if she's 
anything like me, she's going to break down and say, Hey, this guy's a lot of fun. He's funny. He's a lot kinder than a lot of people I've met before. Let me have a conversation with him. Just don't make it all about like the, come on, let me take you home and fuck you thing. We got about two and a half more minutes. If anyone wants to uh, bring up something, this is it. Women don't want nice guys. They want a nice guy, but she rather get a jerk. Dick. Dick, whatever's gotten you with this mindset, I'm glad you're here. And it's time to let's switch that mindset to something else, okay? Don't forget our dinner plans, Real Rec. Um, why are beautiful women attracted to the sun? Just tell her you're, you're willing to overlook her being older. That's pretty funny, Eric. All right. I'm going to get ready to say goodbye to you guys. If there's, I'm just scrolling through this Instagram feed. If I missed anybody and what they said, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for all the good advice. I'm going to ignore the, uh, the uh, my wife loves DPDU comment. I mean, really? Uh, we started this, I started this video out saying some of these comments are not appropriate. And if you know they're not appropriate, don't say them. I'm going to end with saying that too. Try really hard to uh, class up your act. Make yourself a better person by if you feel like there's something telling you not to say it, maybe don't say it. Secondly, it, don't let these superficial shit bother you. Don't let this, the stretch marks and the scars and the uh, blisters on your feet or the the extra pounds around your waist. Don't let any of that stop you from going out and just finding the right person, okay? And guarantee if you're with a quality person, she ain't going to grow you out of bed because you've got a couple extra nipple hairs, all right? So that's what I want to say. To the person, Dick, who's saying about the nice guys finish last, go watch a few videos ago where I discuss that. If there's something that you want me to discuss, please put it in the comment section below. Again, if you haven't liked this video, please do so. Uh, Ari's saying I'm so done with jerks. <laughs> uh, let's see. And if there's anything else that uh, I missed in this stream, please uh, make sure to come back again. I love you guys. Uh, I love uh, everyone here. Big Williams being a Bulls fan, love that too. Um, anyway. If you haven't known about my Patreon page, watch the video before where I'm in a bathing suit. Um, my Patreon is a way you can support uh, me and other creators who don't get monetized here because I do a lot of this most of the time for free. And that's the way you can keep these live streams going. Putting up a couple bucks each month. Hey, I'm sure you waste it and a lot more frivolous things, right? Um, I'm not going to answer any DMs, unfortunately because I have no time for that. But um, if I do, hey, you never know, I might answer a DM. <laughs> um, all I could say is I'm, I'm overwhelmed with love for you all and please keep coming back.